Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. This quality of consistency, of sticking with something, is something you really want to develop in life. Because there are so many good things that we could do in life that we can, we drop because we don't have staying power. So let's train the mind to have a little bit more staying power. You make up your mind, you're going to stay right here. You know that this is something good to get the mind concentrated, get the mind centered. So just see what you can do to carry through with that intention. If you find yourself wandering off, just come right back. Drop whatever it is that you're thinking about and come right back to the breath. Try to be strict with yourself, but at the same time, learn how to reward yourself. Like when Each time you come back, make the breath comfortable. Take a nice, deep in and out breath that feels really good. And as long as long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it gets to a point where it doesn't feel good, you can change, because you're trying to create a place where it's easy for the mind to stay, a place where the mind can gather its strength. Because the goodness we want in life is something that depends on our own strength, and we get goodness from other people. We have to learn how to appreciate that. Today is it's kind of our annual gratitude day. It's Mother's Day, and Mother's Day always falls on the same day, and we commemorate the passing away of my teacher, John Fuhr. So think of the gratitude you have for your parents, the gratitude you have for your teachers, all the other people who've helped you in life, given you knowledge, given you a sense of values. That help they've given you is something really valuable. And if you really value it, then you have to keep it alive in your own actions, in your own thoughts, your words and deeds. And this is one of the reasons why we meditate, is to give the mind strength so that it can carry through with these things. Otherwise, the goodness dies. And when you realize it's because of goodness that we're alive. And we're not like lizards where they just the parents just leave the egg and it's up to the little baby lizard to fend on its own. You've noticed the animals that where the parents don't care for the young don't get very advanced in life. It's because there's some care, especially with the human race. It's not only the care of the parents, but also the care of our teachers. We've got a culture. We've got good values to pass on. And yet so often we often forget these things. The values we're taught seem to be one thing, reality seems to be something else. That's because we listen to other voices, other ideas. But if we realize that the goodness we've been taught about, generosity, being virtuous, training your mind so you don't give, degree, give in to greed, aversion, and delusion, these are things that really do have value in the long run. And so it's good to keep that in mind. It's also good to develop the strength of mind that you can carry through with these things, even though the rest of the world may not be interested. Because you can't be responsible for them. You try to give help when you can, but if they're not going to listen, if they're not going to be interested, you can't let their ideas overcome your ideas. You have to learn how to recognize go, what is good in life. It's the compassion we have for one another. It's the kindness. It's the integrity we have in our actions and that certain things we will not do because they are harmful. These are the things that have real value in life. So you want to make sure that you have the strength of mind to maintain them. This is one way that you show your gratitude for the goodness that your parents have shown you, your teachers have shown you, is that you live these values and you pass them on. You don't let them die with you. So keep these thoughts in mind, that the goodness of life is what we live on. It's like the water that nourishes us. It's the goodness of other people, and then you want to pass that on to others, so you've got to learn how to embody that goodness in your actions. And you do what you can to strengthen the mind so it box the trends of the world. To maintain that goodness as best you can. <clears throat>